Well, hey guys, have another project to complete today. I'm going to build some under cabinet lighting for my parents. Well, I told them that I was going to do that in December. And now they're in Florida, so it's a good time to get it done. And when they come home, they'll have a nice surprise waiting. I'm going to use these Cree CXA series LEDs. If you watch my other videos, I did a couple other videos on these things. But um, I just find them to be a fantastic product. At least they work, unlike this crap I bought off of eBay, shipped from China. And uh, the last video pretty much covered those things. But fantastic product. The CXA series, you can get all kinds of different lumen output. You can pretty much select the color temperature you want, even the CRI. And some of them have different voltage selections. And this series here is the 1304. And I really like these because they come in 9 volts. And it, today it's harder to find the chip on board type LEDs that are 9 volts. Bridge Lux used to have one, but now I don't believe they have a 9 volt version. I think the lowest voltage they have now is 18. But having a 9 volt available to you allows you to use these in a whole bunch of applications. You know, battery operated, automotive. If you remember, uh, or if you saw my video, I put one of these in the dome light of my truck. And it works really great. Just fantastic LEDs. I get geeked, up, geeked out about them. And uh, th this is all I have left. I, I had uh, about 10 one time and I think about 5 another time. So I'm just about used them all up. Well, I'm going to go ahead and proceed on with the build of the under cabinet lights. Okay, so here are the little uh, luminaries. I just uh, routed a slot in acrylic and epoxy it down onto the heat sink. I sanded everything because epoxy doesn't like to stick to acrylic that well. And these are working pretty good. And I just took some hot melt glue to seal in the uh, wiring. And uh, as far as heat goes, it's not going to be an issue because I'm going to underdrive these. I'm probably not going to see any more than 200 milliamps. And my experience is that the heat sink, you know, barely gets warm at that current level. So I have those plugged in here and I made this little switch box. It's going to have two modes. You'll have a off, medium, and high mode. And power comes in here. All you need is a 12 volt, 500 milliamp AC adapter. So I guess the current would be, wouldn't be any more than 150 milliamps. And the wire comes out here. And I just have it plugged into the board here just for testing. And uh, take a look at inside the switch box, how I wired it up. Okay, here's inside the switch box. It's just a couple of resistors connected in such a way that it makes the you know switch operate off, low, and high. And uh, what do I have here? I have a 10 ohm and what's that say? 56 ohm. And they first on high, well I should say um, there's off and then you switch it in this mode and it puts these two in series. So there's 66 ohms and that would be low mode. Then I switch it high and it switches this one out and it only conducts through this 10 ohm and that's the high mode. Switch logic can be tricky sometimes. The way you wire it up to get 
you know the way it works on the switch I could have just taken um, you know had center off in this mode low with one resistor and this low high you know flip it the other way for high but I I didn't want that order I wanted off low high so I had to figure out the logic of the wiring to make that work and that is the schematic of the switch because there's depending on the position it shorts the two bars together so this position is off this position brings the current in here goes through in this position since the current directly shorts this here goes only through that one which that one there is a 10 ohm so yeah it's uh switch logic sometimes can be tricky but that's how i did it okay well i'm going to power these up and take a look at what they look like okay i got the little yellow wall wart plugged in there this actually goes to my battery charger, so I'll have to find a 12 volt one to use with this. Okay, it's all hooked up. And turn it on low. So that'll be nice. It'll be kind of like a nice night light effect. And there's high. Nice and bright. Let me get a current measurement. Okay, there's 400, about 400 milliamps going to all the LEDs on high. That's well within the limits. And on low, only 100 milliamps. So, very good. And uh, this box, I did test it out. I left it on for several hours. It doesn't get very warm. Just not a lot of power dissipated here. So I'm splitting 400 milliamps across all LEDs, even though one of them can handle that. But for the brightness I need, that is plenty. Well... I guess the next clip of this video, I'm going to go up to my parents' house and uh, actually install them. I do have to put a couple uh, connectors on the wires and all, but uh, we'll wrap this thing up and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, I'm at my parents' house. I have the lights installed. See it under there? Got the wires tacked up. Runs over here. I go up above the cabinets over there because of the microwave. There's a light there. There. See what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Well, the switch is over here. And I just have my battery charger wall wart plugged in until I can get a permanent one and I'll have to tack that cable up when I get it okay I'll turn it on that's low I don't know if you can see that that's high off high looks really good let's turn the lights off and see what it looks like okay I closed the curtains it was it's pretty bright out today Turned off the overhead lights. See what it looks like. So that's low mode. Kind of like a night light mode. That can stay on all the time. And that's full brightness. 
So yeah, yeah, it lights it up pretty good. I'll turn the overhead lights on. Turn it off. I don't know if the camera shows it, but it really lights the counter surface up. Low and high. Oh yeah. It really lights it up. Okay. Very good. Hopefully they like it. I think they will. My mom's always complaining about not being able to see because these lights here they don't put down enough lumens or uh, lux down on the countertop and that should really help quite a bit well that wraps this up thanks for watching